y'all. This is Molly K. Hope y'all are well. I have a story for you from the Daily Hodel. It's news and insight from the digital economy or for the digital economy. I'm sorry. Um, this story came out on July 10th, 2023, and it's eighth. BRICS planning to replace the U.S. dollar with new trading currency backed by gold. An economic alliance of nations known as BRICS is reportedly preparing to introduce a new currency that is de designed to dethrone the U.S. dollar. And so I was telling you about this a couple of weeks ago. So I knew it was coming. Um, so it says, according to RT, which is Russian Times, the new trading currency of BRICS will be backed by gold, a standard that used to define the U.S. dollar over 100 years ago. The currency is set to be unveiled in August during the 15th BRICS summit in South Africa. BRICS is set to introduce a new currency backed by gold in contrast to the credit-backed U.S. dollar with the decision coming a month ahead of the BLOCKS summit in Johannesburg. With the growing initiative, more and more countries are lining up to join the group, which it means that's the nail in the coffin for us, which is why I suspect, because, you know, we petty, America. It's petty. Petty Betty is going to do something drastic herself. Um, to avoid the humiliation and to try to counter or soften the blow just for face. You know, they don't care nothing about us. But in the meantime, between now and when they introduce this new currency, you need to be trying to stock up on as much stuff as you can. If you can buy groceries, get extra groceries. If you can get extra not perishable food items, seeds, Get whatever you can get while things are affordable, because once this happens, our money is going to be trash. Everything is going to go up um, because the value of our money is not going to be, um, you know, worth it, what it is today. And even if it doesn't happen quickly, gradually, you're just going to see the price of things continue to increase. I mean, and it could get to the point where, you know, if you're working, you can only afford to pay you know, one or two things. You might be only only be able to pay your rent and your car payment, or you know, your car payment, your car insurance, because you need that to go to work, and your rent or your mortgage. So you may not have money to buy groceries. You may not have money for your water bill. Do you know how you're gonna have water? So there's just a lot of things that are going to happen that people don't necessarily anticipate and we cannot live without food water medicine shelter think of maslow's hierarchy of needs that's what you need to be thinking you need to have your basics that's that should be your hierarchy for right now get that chart print it out and start from the bottom you can't survive without food and water and a shelter so you need to have a have a way to have that uh covered when this this um transition happens because it's going to be bumpy somewhere along the way it's going to get bumpy i can't tell you when i don't know how but i can't imagine that we won't feel the impact once they make this announcement formally bricks once bricks makes this announcement um so the uprising will begin earlier this month the chief um uh Earlier this month, the chief financial officer of the BRICS New Development Bank, Leslie Mossdorp, reportedly said that the economic coalition has medium to long term ambitions to create a new global currency and challenge the supremacy of the U.S. dollar. At the time, however, Mossdorp said that BRICS was not yet to prepare, was not yet prepared to establish a currency that would compete with, against the U.S. dollar. Last month, a senior Russian official reportedly said that about 20 nations are lining up to join BRICS, which is currently made up of Brazil, Russia, India, China, China, and South, South Africa. I'm sorry. So that's the end of this story. But anyway, I just want to share with you. Um, it's getting close to the end, y'all. The hard fiat currency is eventually going to go away 
And the value of whatever we have is going to be such that everything for us is going to go up in price until they take this system down and come up with the new one. So continue to prep. Continue to pray, seek the most high for wisdom and guidance on how to navigate these crazy times. Uh, keep watch because we are commanded to keep watch. We've got to keep watch so you'll know what to do when, when the time comes. Um, repent and cry out to the most high because we need to be delivered from this evil, period. The people are wicked and... This is not how the Most High intended for us to live. And the reason that we are in this predicament now is because we have been disobedient. We have not been delight. We have been self-centered. We have followed the ways of the heathens and not been light. We have lived in darkness. We have put on the clothing of darkness and we move in darkness. Um, so let us repent and um, give the heathens back their stuff. Turn away from our wickedness, um, seek our Father, uh, reclaim His ways and His will for our lives, and try to be the light in these final hours of this failed state. All right, please like this video, share, it, and subscribe to the channel. Also, subscribe to my Odyssey and Rumble channels in the event that this channel is taken down because. They got to get rid of all the stuff that's going to tell people what's going on. Um, consider following me on social media. I do not use social media regularly, but if I do, it will be because these uh, current social media platforms are uh, not accessible to me. So it'll be a way for you to follow me in the event that something happens. Right now, my primary platform is YouTube because I can't. It's just a, so much trouble trying to navigate all these restrictions and um, shadow bans. And a lot of us are um, enduring shadow bans as we try to use these platforms to wake people up and educate people about what's coming. So um, do the best you can. Continue to try to wake up your brothers and sisters. Um, continue to prep got to prep. You need a cushion. And, you know, I'm I'm saying shoot for two years. Know how you're going to live for two years without stuff. That's, that's, you know, if you don't need it, good. But if you do need it, you'll have it. And even if, you know, something else happens, like, um, you know, you lose your job, you can use your uh, preps to keep you until times get better. Like I can't tell you how many people that happens to. And even for me, um, I had a situation where my friend had surgery earlier this year and, you know, she kind of had it, didn't really plan well, but um, she was able to survive because, you know, we plan, we prep. Um, and she didn't have to go to the store and buy toilet paper and paper towels or soap. And, you know, she had food because, you know, we we don't wait till the last minute to go to the grocery store and just buy what we need. We have things here that we could use. Um, cleaning products. Uh, just you, you would be surprised at the things that, you know, when you don't have money. But you have laying around the house you know, extra extra soap, extra towels, extra, you know, any anything that you take for granted. And even when the power went out, you know, um, I was digging and I hit a water line and the water was turned off. We couldn't flush the toilet. <laughs> and I had water in old um, detergent containers and bleach containers. And I have them in the garage. So I just went outside and got some and I put in the house. And so when we need to flush the toilet, we could just pour water in the um, tank and flush the toilet. And the toilet was flushed. And we had water, you know, extra water. So after the event was over and the guy came to fix the water, I filled those things back up and I put them in the garage. At the time, she couldn't understand why I did that. 
But I knew why I did it because uh, when I lived in Florida, I didn't have city water. I lived in a rural area. And so I had a um, well and it was a whole big deal because Florida water is hard got a lot of scale and lime and so you have to do a whole lot of filtering you got to use salt um it stinks smell like rotten eggs and so it's you got to do reverse osmosis so it's a whole a whole thing but i knew when the power went out we did not have water because um we needed electricity to pump the water out of the well so what we did, but we had a swimming pool. So we just kept a five gallon bucket out by the pool or in our you know, pool bath. And when we got ready to use the bathroom, if we didn't have you know, access to the pump, we just got water out of the pool and flushed the toilet. <laughs> so, you know, those are just simple things like you can you can be doing now when you use things don't throw them away you know if it's something that you can recycle <clears throat> the old water jugs old detergent bottles old um <clears throat> old uh, uh dish liquid uh, bottles things like that if they're big enough to store water gallon two gallons man fill those things up with water and set them to the side if you got a place you can put them in the garage or in a storage house Put them away. You, it's not like you're going to drink the water, but you can use it for other things. You can always sanitize it and use it to wash dishes or um, clean, uh, especially if it's, it's a cleaning agent. We got to be creative in these hours. Um, don't waste nothing. Don't waste anything. Have a cushion. Know how you're going to survive when things get rough because things are going to get rough and we need to understand ain't nobody coming to save you not until the messiah comes you ain't got no savior your only savior is yourself so if you can't do it yourself um and you don't have a team of people working that you work with who are like-minded and have also been prepping and y'all have agreed to you know collaborate and um, support each other, you're going to be in trouble. So get to prepping because this stuff is happening, whether you do something about yourself and your circumstances or not, the dollar is going to collapse. The economy is going to collapse. The world is moving on away from America and biblical prophecy is unfolding as we speak. So if you don't prepare, the world is going to keep on ending. If you don't prepare, you will be without and others will have. And nobody's obligated to support you or help you if you have eyes to see and ears to hear and you choose not to do anything, um, especially if you're an adult. So get at it and get at it. Act like it's your job to survive. That's all I got. <laughs> this is Marley Kay and I'm out.